Ready. Am I on? Yes. <laughs> I said I ready. I've been in the video the whole time because today was terrible. AJ's going to do an illustration on this board. <laughs> I haven't been in this video at all, so that's why I had to be in the video. Just yeah, AJ wants to be off. in the beginning of the bit video before it pick us. Or, the video, so. Yeah, that, I'm going to get thumbs downs because thumbs AJ's down. in the video. But thumbs up AJ's big pumpkin jacket. It's nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's waterproof, but it looks like it's all wet. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a sponge. Anyway, but, um, President News coming next year. Yeah. Uh, AJ has a, a surprise announcement next yes, year, next which year. isn't that far away. Which is a month away. Stay tuned for the video for maybe probably 2016, probably one of the first videos you do when you come back to Jersey. There you go. All so right. Stay tuned. AJ for just wants to be in the video. That's it. Yeah, because everybody gets mad when I'm in the video. Yeah, he wants to be in the video. You're in the video, right? And we're scummy resellers. Goodbye. All right, scummy resellers. Subscribe, like, whatever. Bye. Okay, this is not really a pickup. But I needed an Xbox uh, 360 to test a bunch of games that AJ got me that all had scuffs and scratches. Uh, <laughs> which he didn't check. So anyway, a bunch of games that I need to test. And I had about three Xbox 60s at home and none of them worked, right? I tested them because I was going to test games and Xbox 60. So AJ's like, okay, I'll do a trade with you. Now, I'll do what we did for a trade yesterday. But here's the test to see if the drawer opens. Because I plugged it in to the wall. There is electricity here. I did the tray. And now we're also going to see. See, look at AJ. <clears throat> he didn't even check. There's actually a bonus game in here. Now, let's see if it's all scratched up. Ugh, it's all scratched up. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if AJ watches this video. And I'll give this to him anyway. But I'm going to see if he watches the video and sees that there was a, a disc in there right and maybe I'll t maybe what I'll do is I'll go in his room and I'll just like uh, put it on his table and I won't say anything right uh, I'll just stick it somewhere but uh, I'll see if AJ watches the video and see and sees that there was a, a game in the actual unit but I did uh, but then he'll go like oh cuz then but I, it's like <laughs> I won't just give it to him but he'll go like oh that's where that game was that's how it appeared. So we'll see if he actually watches the video and finds it out. Anyway, I'm turning this off, and I'm going to sneak this onto his table and see if he, he notices. Okay, so uh, this is actually the one thing I bought today. I saw it yesterday, and my friends next to me had it. They were selling it. They had $60 on it. And $60 is a fair price for resale because you could put this on eBay, and it would probably sell... For 120 to 150 something like this but this is the kind of stuff that I like to keep myself so I did I buy this I buy, bought this to keep it and it's gonna go into my non displayed collection of uh, contemporary signed art glass right now um, the design on this is kind of an iridescent um, kind of Steuben-esque and it's a pulled feather design as you can see as I call it pulled feather and the glass artist, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I know who it is. I was able to read it yesterday. Um, it wasn't easy, but the person that I bought it from didn't know that it was signed. They looked all over, they couldn't find it. But I, I looked and I said, hey, it's right here. And, and again, you may or may not be able to see it. But it says, R Held. Uh, then it says, uh, Art Glass Studio. And there might be a date, I don't really know. Uh, and R Held stands for Robert Held. I have some Robert Held glass. I don't have anything that nice or that large by him as of yet. So anyway, um, they had it for 60 <clears throat> And because I'm friends with them, they said I could have it for 50 And I was fine. You know, <coughs> I would like to pay less just because everything sucks. I'm not making any money today. But this is definitely a good piece. Who do you owe a dollar? Oh, for the coffee? All right. Marie owes a dollar for the coffee. So anyway, this is the one thing that I did buy today, uh, but it is a keeper for me. Uh, I do have Robert Held uh, glass, some small pieces, but this is the largest piece that I do have now in my collection. <laughs> I want to do my joke that I just did. I, I was saying this is my cough vase, and then I coughed into <coughs> like that, right? And then everybody was, uh, was like, ugh. But I said, no, don't worry, I, I dumped it out. So you know, that was the joke I just did. Okay, Marie scored on some jewelry this morning. She did well, not, pretty damn good. Not scored, but the ah, lady was you, selling it all so cheap. I had to get it off her table and put it on mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. They go, that lady's in there selling it for this one. Yeah, the lady's there. <coughs> it's a dollar. Yeah. 
Oh, this is nice. Is that micro mosaic? Yeah. And a mushroom. I don't know what that is. I have to take a look. You know what? It feels like plastic. The, this feels like plastic. It is. It's just... Maybe it's like a Bakelite or something, you know? It's Maybe. definitely an old plastic. And uh, that looks like a gold chain, <laughs> I wish. No. No, but that's really cool. I've never seen anything like that. Let's see. How, I mean, when does it end? When is no, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah. And, One, and two, came, three, four, five, six, and it seven, came eight, to nine, uh, 10, 11, thirty-one dollars, and she gave it all to me for twenty-five bucks. So, so far, I'm count, I counted twelve pieces. Thirteen. Keep it coming. Another one over there. Thirteen is going to be fourteen. So we are talking about some some nice, insane price. Fifteen. 16. And then you go through and you just tell me what, what you got. 17. 18. 19. Still coming. And 20. 21. That's it. So you got 21 things for $25. Nice. Okay. What do you want to uh, show me? These were the more expensive things. This okay. was five bucks. And what's that? But it's it's just all prong yeah, set pretty nice. black rhinestones. It's I mean, it's a nice piece. I should be at least able to get ten bucks for sure. it. I mean, that would be cheap. Not signed or anything, obviously. Uh, no, not this <coughs> one. No. Um, this one is signed Hobe. Heard H -O -B -E. of that? H O B E. Hobe. Um, and this is cinnabar with black glass. Nice. Good name. This is signed Miriam Haskell. Oh, that's the one that I found. Yeah, right? that's why I took it. I wasn't going to, but it, it's got nice glass beads, okay. and it's Miriam Haskell. Triple strand. This and this were three dollars, so three, three, and five. Right. This, and then everything else was a buck. Right. This is new, but I like it because you know people yeah, could put, put a little in something in well, there. It's heart shaped. Yeah. It has a name on it, but I can't. It's more of a logo. Figure it out later. And I don't know what that yeah. is. Figure it out later. This is Napier. What does it look like? Can you describe the logo? Uh, I don't remember. Just in case somebody knows. All right, it doesn't um, matter. Here, it hold does. on, hold on, hold on. Wait. There. Can you describe it though? Like I don't know. It looks like something. Chris yeah, it looks like an X. And it's, okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. This is Napier. It's Lucite. Nice. Uh, this is un those pins, but. this is unmarked, but it's a nice dangly. This I think is Trafari. Yeah, it's Crown Trafari. Okay, so that's like twenty five online or something. Uh, maybe twenty. Yeah, okay. But I'm probably not gonna put it online. Should, this is a uh, cloisonne. With. It's got butterflies and I know flowers. I like these things. And it's in really nice shape. There's it no is. dents or anything or missing enamel. It's like really pretty piece. Yeah. Uh, this I don't believe is signed. But it's still it's a. But it's a yet. yeah, it's a nice older one. This also is just a nice older uh, necklace. Okay, it looks good. And right? It's older because you can tell by the class. This. That's really cool. It's it's like plastic, but it's got this tiny micro mosaic. It's probably six center. Right? I I can't tell. I gotta take my loop to kind of see Mushroom what it is. Or a tree. Somebody told me they thought it was a basket of flowers. I don't oh, know. Okay. I gotta see. Yeah, maybe. But it's Italian, probably, and. Uh, Nice. Yeah, it's definitely Italian. Um, I got these two bracelets. One of them was marked Monet, I think, or... Monet, Monet, No, Monet. Crown Trafari. This one's Crown oh, okay. Trafari. Doesn't match the neck, uh, necklace. I have, you know, this one wasn't marked. But it's nice, nice to mesh But back. it's a nice They did that piece. in the 60s, mm -hmm. basically. This was sort of like Egyptian revival kind of stuff. Sure. Choker. I've seen necklaces. Oh, that's a choker. Okay. Yeah. Was, for a second, well, it was a bracelet. It's a no, 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 it's a necklace. Okay. But it's like a choker link. Yeah, it's very not nice. Signed. Um, I got this uh, Damascene, Damascene, Damascene yeah. uh, Toledo, Spain pin. This is a uh, Trafal. This is Crown Trafari. Again. Yeah. Oh. This has a signature, but I don't. I couldn't read it with my. I need a loop. Yeah, that's fine. But people ask me for dragonflies. Good morning. morning. This is unmarked, but it's nice and sparkly. This is unmarked, but it's a heart. This is just a cool, uh, it's a scarf clip. I love the Tin Soldier. I thought he was really nice. I just yeah, like, he he's, he's nice. a good quality, you know? And this is a scarab. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a, a pin. Normally yeah. you see him in bracelets. So. 
but again, it all came to, when she added up, it came to 31 and she only charged me 25 Which is really good. Okay, well, at least you found something. I saw, like, a couple things. I want to go check that other guy again. But I saw I saw a nice Murano bow, but I'm not going to buy it today because I'm going to wait, like, three weeks before I can do anything with it. So, um. you know, because what am I going to do? I, like, take, I, mean, I can take pictures of it today, put it online, but I don't know. Maybe we'll buy it, see if I sell some stuff. What did Murray get? Let's see. Well, because I thought maybe these could be gold. You know, the little... Yeah, they probably are. But gold for gold. five bucks, it's yeah, 925. It's actually a really nice looking ring. Yeah. Uh, so it just says 925? And there's another mark I can't make out. Then you should if, wait and see. If you want to see and see if you yeah, can I'll read it. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I always hate when they're inside. Like, where is the mark? Right in there, see? And oh, okay, I see it. It's in a spot where it kind okay. of overlaps. Nah, it's always hard to see. Okay, I'll look at it and see if there's anything. AJ left his chair. I got it now. My chair. There you go, AJ. No place to sit. Miles on US 46 West. That's right. We're driving three miles on US 46 West. Uh, day two. Nutley. How was day one? Uh, okay. Nah. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Uh, but it wasn't horrible. That's what I say. Well, it could have been worse. There were people that were upset because oh, you yeah. know, there was two extra rooms. AJ didn't do that. That people got stuck in, and yeah. the customers didn't even go in there. I know. It's like, how do you get people? You got to have somebody. I've told them. I mean, I've said it. I mean, jokingly, but you know, it's like you dress like some kid up as an elf and make yeah. him jump around in the hallway so he catches people's attention. Yeah, something. And something. tells them that there's other rooms and go check this out. And go yeah. check that. The ridiculousness of it causes no. It's just you know. It, it's like people to to stop and pay attention. They don't read signs that say more vendors. It's just money. weird they to have uh, vendors all over the place. How many like times that. when we used to put prices up? How many times did they say how much is it? And I'm like, there's yeah. a price right there. Yeah. People don't read. Nah, they're, they they're don't. Basically, we. I can't blame lazy. them for that, but yeah, it, it's like. So they, you know, we told a bunch of people, oh, check the other room, check the, they're like, oh, other I, room. Oh, I didn't know there was another room. Yeah. Because, no, it's like, yes, they put up signs. They put up a lot of signs that say more vendors with an arrow. Yeah. But people don't, they only see what they want to see. Yeah. They don't look for more. I actually, my know? advice to anybody that wants to do Nutley and be in that main room is pay when they give the yeah, papers. Yeah, but you have to, they really only want new stuff in that main room. But if room. you pay and say, if you go like this, I, I want to be in the main room, and if they say, well, you can't be, then don't do it. Don't That's do my it. advice, yeah. yeah. Because, because otherwise it's, it's not really good. they really want the main room to be <clears throat> new stuff. No, I understand. And but I would tell you, side room. if they stuck me in the side room, I don't think I'd, you know what I mean? I'd think I'd just stay home and do eBay or something like that, you know? But that's inside, you know, outside, everybody, it's outside, you can see everything. Inside, you know, you're in the nooks and the crannies and, the, but you know. But see, you know, I worked hard to get the recognition that we get at that flea market. Yeah. You know, I work with them. And we I like them. I help them as much lot. as I can. But it also let, lets them, they do stuff for us. Right. Yeah. So, you can't just tell everybody, well, you got to do that. Well, that's, I'm just saying that's what I would do. If I wasn't you... Um, and I wanted to be in that main room. Of, you know, I go out of my way to help them. And no, stuff I know. Like that. I mean, that like with Ernest, so they, look they out let her. For me. They're not bad. I mean, they let Ernest in, right? They and let I, Ernest in. But they say, honestly, Ernest, please try and be neat. He's and he is not junk. Yeah. He's got like weird junk, you know. And, and, and then there was another guy display. next to him that was. <coughs> I was giving him his space. Yeah. He's like, I get 18 uh, feet, and I was like, Well, they don't have 18 feet. It's either 12 or six. See, they used to. I have said because. He's like, no, I was told 18 feet. I said, well, that's weird because I usually get 18 feet. But I was told that this year I could not. It was yeah. either 6 well, or Well, because we're in the main room. Or I had to get two 12-foot spots. Right, you which know, we did. Which is what we did. We used to get 18 so, and 12. Um, yeah, because they had a special price. It's not worth it, though. For the, this year it's not worth it. So um, he said, well, I have a confirmation. So I looked at his confirmation, and yeah, he did. He was supposed to get 18 Well, there feet. you go. So I showed him the 18 feet, and... I guess in his mind, he's thinking 18 feet. To be, I had to go get a measuring thing. I oh, had my it, God. He was just being difficult. Yeah. And then when he finally does get in there, I went back a few times. He wasn't even setting up. He's hanging out talking to Nick. Yeah. He put up a few tables, but he Nick, had all his Nick's crap a, against a the wall. Everybody talks to Nick. <laughs> you know, he wasn't even setting up, and it was I, like 
11 o'clock. Like, I, how, what are you honestly, doing? AJ and Nick were in the room, so I would go to talk to him. But that, I would call it the complain room. The well, complain because room. nobody went in there. Yeah. That room was worse than the other side room. The other side room, at least the hallway led the people. And it's so the yeah, vendors I agree. in the hallway led to that room. Yeah, so I showed that on yesterday's video. Hallway, but that back room, yeah, nobody come because they locked the doors. Nobody could come in that way. They didn't want people coming from the back. No, that's um, the school. That's the school making it difficult again. No, I don't know if it was the school. I don't know. I don't know if it was the school. Uh, but they made it so that people couldn't come in. Like when I went out to the car to get something, I had to have agent let yeah. me back in. Yeah. I don't know. I, who else would it be? It's probably the superintendent. I don't know, but that's where the parking was. And if yeah. people were coming that way, they would have seen they that They gotta room. go walk all the way around. But it's like, I mean, come on. You know, just make it easy for people. You know, don't put obstacles in their path if they, you want them to buy stuff. You know? But, so anyway, we did the first day. This is day two. Uh, it's definitely less than, than last year. By, uh, oh, half. Uh, not half, but yeah. I would say like 40% down or something like that. Definitely not half. But that's how this whole year has been going. You know. But the good thing is it's almost over. This is our last JC market. Until we go to Florida. Yeah, yeah for the year. And we'll do some markets down there. Yeah, it's folks. We're going to do some markets down there. And it's it's going to be crazy down there because it's like now all the tourists are down there. Well, now it's season. doesn't mean we'll make a lot of money, but... Well, the first time usually I do well, but then it gets... Every time I go, it gets less and less yeah. and less. Because I'm not bringing new stuff every time you I know, go. You know, Mom's going to give us a bunch of stupid crap. Pots and pans. Oh, my that's God. Well, yeah, well, whatever she finds. Yeah, that's just fine. She tries to be helpful. No, she definitely is, you know. Um, and they like that stuff, too. You know, yeah. they're not really buying decorative or antiques I, I'm like they even, buy, they're buying useful stuff. yeah or stuff that you know keep them busy like I'll sell some music maybe I would sell DVDs except that everybody's got Netflix now and Hulu. everybody also is selling the DVDs for a dollar so yeah you nah, no, I, mean, I wouldn't bring DVDs down there you know I, I wouldn't do it I'm not tr bringing DVDs halfway across the country yeah but there's more of an older population down there they might not be into Netflix and all that stuff yeah you know, my DVDs aren't good though I got oh. leftover stuff they won't want what I have then why don't you just sell them in a mat in a lot? Like just get rid of them. And uh, okay, them. just tell me the guy that's gonna buy them off, and I'll sell them to him. Anthony, you get what I'm saying? Like, come on, like put an ad on Craigslist or Facebook. Yeah, Facebook they'll just combust my chops. I'll just bring them out and sell them slowly. And probably that that guy down in Florida would buy them all if you brought them with you. You know, I'm not taking them down on the chance that that guy would buy them. I just not take. I don't want to drive with a bunch of stuff down to Florida. It just takes a, a few good nice things and that's it you know the best of the best and then my mom will give us a bunch of stuff you know that we sell I'm this way if we do a little shopping mall down there I'll have room to bring it back in the car which whatever all right but anyway so we're going to Nutley <laughs> we're, we're we're diversing what do you call it digressing we're digressing no we're diversing for some reason digressing didn't sound right uh, so we'll see how we do you know this... and today our windshield wipers work yeah <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. I was worried about that because I knew it was going to rain. Well, it was going to rain today, and we didn't have time. We wouldn't have time to fix it, so it's like, but whatever. It's just, uh, what do you call it? It's karma screwing with us or something? I don't. I, my karma should be golden. I know. I don't know about your karma. I'm, I'm the nicer of us too. Oh no, you. Everybody not. loves me. Yeah, actually, that's disgustingly true. <laughs> You're the B word. I know. <laughs> I'm the nice guy, and they don't know how. They don't know how annoying you really no, are. No, 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 they don't know how I, <laughs> I put up with you. <laughs> Probably. But that's what you said. People were saying, you're such a nice guy. <laughs> I know. That one time we were having a fight, yeah. and those guys across from us, I had to get away. I walked away from you, and I had to get away. Because honestly, to me, fighting is ridiculous. You have your opinion, I have my opinion, and there ain't no way I'm changing yeah, 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 yeah. So fighting is ridiculous. Uh, well, so, you know when fighting's so bad, wait, it's when you're mean. So, so I walked away. And I caught these two vendors across from us going, oh man, and he's such a nice guy. Because they only hear my loud mouth. They don't hear the the, the ridiculous crap you're spewing yeah, on yeah. a low volume. They only That's hear right. me. And they're like, oh, and he's such a nice guy. And I walk by them and I'm like, yeah, because I'm the bitch. <laughs> and I kept going. You just verified. They're like, damn, she is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No, but I'm a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, push my butt. <laughs> 
And like I say, Maria has big buttons to Shut push. up. She's all button. You know what I mean? Ninety percent button. Um, okay. <laughs> I think you enjoy it. Do Look at you to, giggling. Do we have to get gas or anything? Uh, later. Well, actually, we don't even need it, right? We don't right? need it in this car. It's the last. Yeah, time whatever. Today. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens today. Maybe today is going to be the best day ever. Yoo-hoo, I hope so. I know, right? Today we're going to break our records. All records. <laughs> that would be and, nice. and good records, not bad records. Not records like, oh, we sold the lo lowest we ever did. The lowest we sold this year was $67, right? 67 yeah. Yeah. Of, and so we worked all day and busted and then the, our... And then the following day I was sick 85. that day, too. No, we made 87 the first day, and I was like, well, there's no way we can make less. I thought it was 85 and, and then 67. Seven no, it was it was eighty five, and then it was sixty seven. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like three dollars, two dollars difference. Twenty dollars difference. Eighty. Well, I mean, from the five to the seven. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, don't worry. Um, but yeah, that was the worst day this year so far. So hopefully, we're not gonna break that record. You know, um, we'll break a good record. Like I don't even know what the most we did this year. The most we did was probably Rutherford. It's like the only one that that's still holding. Yeah, but even that wasn't as good as. It could be. Yeah, that one was again. It was about like uh, I'd say at least thirty percent down. What we have is the bulk of the customers now. Everybody needs to make money. Everybody, need, you know, our bills have gone. I mean, my my parents' phone bill used to be fifteen twenty dollars. Oh yeah, I know. Now people's phone bills, you know, it's like a hundred dollars or more. Yep. You know, they're, 120, they're, they're that's rent. ours. Like when I was a kid, our rent in Manhattan 60 bucks. was $69 a month. 69 I mean, they did boot us out because they wanted to get rid yeah, of Yeah, so you went to somewhere else where the rent was like 70 Yeah, or but that was the projects. Yeah. And we went there and it was like yeah, you know the problem is a month. But that was a, that was a while ago. Yeah. But still now, you know, a cheap rent for a studio apartment they don't is like build. $1,500. Okay, what used to happen was the state... In the city, forget it. It's the like city and the grand. state would make sure that a affordable housing was built. Because what happens is every everybody that wants to build an apartment or house wants to make a ton of money. And they're just going to ask as much rent as they could possibly get. Yeah, so they don't build affordable housing property anymore. Taxes yeah. Property taxes so high around here. Well, you but know. Anyway. Okay, yeah, that's. But anyway. So, you know, people, a lot of people need to make money. And what, what they're Ridiculous doing amounts. is there's so many TV shows, so many YouTube channels telling them to go and buy and resell. The, well, but, people are desperate. Which is no, but yeah. it's fine because it's yeah. what we do. So I yeah. understand that. But we do it for but a living. We don't, you know, it's not our side so desperation. So much of these guys that come now, and then some of them got like seriously bad attitudes because they're mad that like you're selling a video game that they claim you're selling it, you're, you're selling it for what? Resale price? Retail. Retail price. But you're selling a $30 game for $25. Yeah. So you're giving people a break. You're I, not paying for shipping. Here's, and you'd probably go down to 20 if they were nice. Here's the know? thing, right? So, but this guy is just mad because he wants to buy it for five. Yeah. So he can sell it for 30 bucks online. Here's the it's thing. It's just like, come on. I, I'm not. You know, why I'm, are you getting nasty? You're doing I'm not a yard I'm sale. Doing. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like, I'm not there. You didn't uh, drive to the 20 yard sale. It's not even that. It's just like. One day to find that one game. It's like, come on. It's like going it. to like uh, Tiffany's to buy a, a, a glass or going to the dollar store to buy a glass to drink out of. You know, it's like Tiffany's is top dollar. Dollar store is like a yard sale. It's, you know, uh, don't come to me and think that I can sell it to you cheap because first of all, uh, maybe I got it for cheap. But it's like, but it's I, this is my business. For. This is my business. This is how I make money. Go to yard sales and, and then buy stuff there. Do what I do. And you already do it anyway. Just don't be all pissy that uh, I, I can't give it away to you because I got to pay my phone, my $120 phone bill or whatever. You know? It's like... Well, uh, so what happens is a, 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 a lot of the guys or the people, because even the women with my jewelry, they're looking to resell. Yeah. And, and I've had females come... And, you know, honestly, I don't care if you resell it. I don't have an issue with it. It's yeah. fine. If I'm asking $10 for something and you think you can get more for it, God bless you. Yeah. Go ahead and get more money for it. I'm happy for you. Yeah. If I'm charging 10 bucks, that means I paid anywhere from 2 to 5 for it. Yeah. And my profit isn't great. I mean, if I paid 2 it's a good profit. But if I paid 5 I'm only doubling my money. But still, it's fine. Yeah. You know, I just want to buy stuff and, and just turn it over. Right. You know, but, you know, they'll come. And they'll say, well, I'm a dealer, and I'm going to resell it, so you're going to work with me, right? And it's like, 
yeah, I'll work with you, not a problem. So they'll pick up that $10 necklace and I'll say, okay, you can have that for seven. And then as they go through the, the stuff, then they make a pile. Yeah. And I give them the price and then they're like, okay, what kind of deal can you give me? And I'm like, look. I gave you the deal. I already gave you a deal. Every time you showed me a piece of jewelry, I told you what it costs yeah. and what I'm selling it to you for. Yeah. Well, you gotta make me a better deal than that because I need to triple my money. Yeah. Like, why do like, you get to triple your money and I don't? No. You know, it's like, you know, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah. And then they're like, well, what if I take this out? And what if I take this All out? All right, and let's like, start well, from scratch. Now I got to start from scratch. Yeah. And you're not going to be happy because yeah. I paid money for this. If I paid five bucks and I'm trying to sell it for ten, but I sell it to you for seven, that means I'm making two dollars. Yeah, you know, the days of going I'm to a yard sale. I'm trying to be nice sale. and work with you. Yeah, and finding a like, box of jewelry for like you know, 20 bucks. Come on. Come on. It's like... You need to work with me also. Dude, it's the same thing with, with the games, you know. Um, maybe 10 years ago, you'd go to a yard sale and you say, hey, how much are the games? They go, give me 20 the whole box. Boom. Right? Yeah, <coughs> same with me with jewelry. That don't you happen. Know, I'd go and I'd find jewelry. That almost never happened with jewelry. Yeah. Well, but no, no, no. What I'm yeah. saying is by the Individually, piece, yeah. 50 cents, a dollar. I don't find that anymore. No. Not at all. No, I got too many like people calling 20, the yard 30. sales up two days before. Yeah. And... They're, because they they find out their phone numbers with yeah. their addresses in the paper when they list for uh, yeah. yard sales, and they call two days before and say, "Look, I buy jewelry. I can't get to your sale, but I'll buy everything. I paid top dollar." Yeah. So then I roll up on these yard sales and I oh, say, yeah. "Well, we your sold ad said jewelry. Oh, I sold that yesterday, but your sale is today." Oh yeah, this person called me and I just sold it yesterday. I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. So they, and. What these people are doing is they're just pulling out the gold and the silver, and they're like chucking the rest of the stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of dirty tricks that people I'm are buying. I'm used to the rest do, of the stuff. I know. want the rest of the stuff. I, yeah. I don't care about the gold and silver. I mean, if I find it, great. Yeah. But it's a hard sell. Yep. I usually end up having to scrap my gold. Gold scraps. And my silver sits in the case because silver only if it's a good name. People only or want to give me piece. scrap value for it yeah. or less. Yep. So it's just I don't even unless it's a nice piece. I don't even want to deal with silver. Yeah, silver's no big deal. You know, I, I and because I can't scrap it for anything, yeah. and people aren't going to give me money. Yeah, it's got to be good, good so, looking, or design. I'd rather deal with the costume jewelry. You know, the nice pieces that I like from yeah. the mid-century. <coughs> I don't make a lot of money on them, but I nah. I do okay. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. And then you know, then you got you get the people who want to do resale that come to the flea markets to buy, like I said, which is yeah, fine. That's what we do it. But then the rest of the people that come are the people that like you tell them three dollars and they're like, eh, why is it so expensive? They could go to the mall, you know? I don't know what to we talk you. about how they're like You know, I have to pay you know like ninety dollars for my space. Yeah. And I'm asking you for three dollars for a pin. But you want to give me a dollar. I, I said like that I didn't get it for that, free. And that show I did with AJ was like four hundred dollars for a table. One stupid little table, four hundred dollars. I mean, come on! But They're making so much money. People don't understand that, and they yeah. really don't care. And then, and then uh, AJ and I did the show, and between us, we sold—I don't know—I don't know—five I, I know, hundred or six hundred, you know. But it's like, hey, we got to eat while we're there. This stuff costs money, and, and we wasted three days of our life. You know, I could have stood home. That's AJ calling. Uh, all right, but AJ's calling me. I gotta hang. Bye.